Hello, today is 17th of May. I've uh, been busy the whole day cleaning up all the photos, bring back all the uh, nice memories, you know, that's all you have. And uh, send some to friends, some have been uh, in my life for the past 30 odd years. Uh, I'm, uh, I have friends as old as uh, how much? Uh, 80 years old, 70 years old. So we have been uh, knowing each other for the past at least 30, 30 odd years because most of them are from my uh, working place. Uh, I shifted up to KL from Laka uh, in 1986, if I'm not mistaken, because I I forgot the, the, the dates uh, when I actually shifted up. But when I was, uh, my last work, uh, working place was Ramadan Laka. So sad to hear that they are closing down since the pandemic is uh, causing them a lot of uh, financial uh, difficulties. So they do what they can. Uh, but then uh, since travel not, don't seem to be happening in the new norm, for at least six months, it's very difficult for most of the company, including uh, those travel agents to really survive. So some of the travel agents all over the world, uh, either they close down, scale down, or go on half uh, pay, half month pay, or maybe you just work without salary, do whatever you can until this uh, new norm come to, uh, you know, um, being accepted and people are more cautious of the way they move about. I just saw a video from uh, one of the WhatsApp group uh, giving us the details on how Sweden is handling the pandemic. Uh, it's something to think about. But then again, in every decision that you make, there is always the pros and cons. So only time will tell whether you are making the right decision or not. However, when you are making a decision, always have in mind, uh, use a very uh, rational uh, method of learning how to make decision. Because um, I, I am a person who used to use uh, ego and also um, uh, sometimes act out of uh, anger uh, which makes it difficult to uh, really uh, be accepted by other people but through the coaching uh, process that I have gone through and the coaching process that I have done for people I noticed that uh, not everybody not say that I noticed it wakes me up to the fact that what I wanted or what I seem good for one person might not be uh, accepted as good for themselves because uh, a lot of people are afraid of the new. A lot of people are afraid to change and a lot of people are afraid that if they change, their job will be affected or because they will help the company to improve, then the company will move towards certain uh, era, then they will be left out because their education level is not good. Though I know it's a very wrong concept, but then they are individual. I cannot force them to change a mindset. I can only show them details uh, from the uh, internet news, uh, scientific proven facts, and also statistics that whether you like it or not, the uh, the world is going to change. That was before uh, we have uh, this pandemic. Uh, at least one year to two years ago, or maybe a few years, I really slowly uh, sharing this kind of information, except that uh, I had to toe the line a bit because Malaysia, not in Malaysia, not everyone is that uh, gung-ho on uh, IT uh, because in our school also the the practice of uh, IT is still uh, an ongoing process but I guess God have another uh, I mean God make another decision to push everything forward 
So what happened is uh, in a lot of businesses, people are buying favors just to go on top. Let me tell you a story. No, one day, um, you know, there's a, a farm where, when the cow and the peasant were grazing. I mean, the the cow is grazing, uh, on the on the grass while the peasant is picking off the fleas from the cow's back. Then, just beside them is a tree, and then this peasant was just uh having say, hi. One day, I used, long time ago, I used to be able to fly to the top of the tree. Then the cow said, uh, then the, the peasant said, but now I don't seem to have the energy to even fly to the first branch. So the cow said, you just take a little bit of my dung every day. In 14 days, you will be able to fly to the top of the trees. Then the peasant said, are you sure? He don't believe. The cow said, why don't you try it? You know, you just try it. So the peasant packed on the dung for the first day and oh my lord, he can just flew to the branch on the first day. The first branch on the first day. So happily, he continued to dig, uh, to uh, feed on the dung. And, um, by the 14th day, he can really fly to the top of the tree and happily singing there. And by the render of the farm, the farmer just sitting down on his rocking chair and saw this fat peasant on top. He took out his gun and shoot him down. So the moral of the story is, even bullshit can keep you on top of the uh, rank, but you can never uh, keep you there so don't ever use bullshit to go on top always have quality in order to have your quality you must practice and um, improve whether through uh, practice on uh, sales or learning from the internet or interact as long as you move one step a day in 365 days, you would have learned 365 things. Like me, I'm uh, learning um, a new word a day. Though I know English, but there's no limit to learning more. So I learn English, one English word a day, new English word a day. I learn uh, one uh, anatomy a day and a new country a day with this capital. Though we know it, but it's okay to uh, keep reminding ourselves there's always room for improvement. Uh, so for those who have uh, the desire to improve and don't know how to achieve it, you can always contact me and I will, uh, I will guide you by coaching. But you must be able to accept coaching and you must be very open to yourself only you contact me because if you are not qualified to be coached, I will not be coaching you because you'll be wasting a lot of your time and then you might be uh, confused further. It's only thing when you let go of everything and open up to a new learning that is called coaching, then only you contact me. My email is always stated there and my name is Peggy Ang. Yeah, I keep it until the end to tell you so that you listen throughout it, uh, throughout the whole thing that I'm talking about. So today I'm going to sing another song. As usual, I mentioned before, uh, singing is my hobby. So I'm going to sing this song by John Denver. It's called Country, Take Me Home Country Roads. Come join me. I am sure a lot of people will know this song. So let's have fun. Almost seven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like a breeze. Country road, take me home to a place. I belong West Virginia Mountain Mama 
take me home Country roads Sorry, ah huh? All my memories Gather round her My dear lady Stranger to blue water Dark and dusty Painted on the sky Misty taste of moonshine Teardrop in my eyes Country roads Take me home To a place I belong West Virginia Mountain Mama Take me home Country roads I hear her voice in the morning now she calls me The radio reminds me of my home far away And driving down the road I get a feeling that I should have been home Yesterday, yesterday Country roads take me home to a place I belong West Virginia Mountain Mama Take me home Country roads Country roads Take me home To the place I belong West Virginia Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads, take me home, country roads, home, down country roads. Mm, thank you for listening. Hope you also always find yourself something to be happy about thank you